Jair Ventura Gomez Caresco. For Jair Gomez, graduation day felt a little like leaving one world. Like all the work that I was able to like put in and it like really paid off. And walking into the next. It's a sensation he's become quite familiar with. I just remember standing at first base, I think it was, and I just collapsed. It was May 31st. The Wilsonville senior was playing kickball during PE when he went into cardiac arrest. I can't really like, remember what happened like after. Jair's mother, Maria, can. I got a phone call saying that my son collapsed and they didn't have any pulse. He, he, didn't, he wasn't breathing. School staff sprung into action. Maintenance member Lance Ensel, teacher Laura Becco, and nurse Mary Groh started CPR. Inside the building, school resource officer Zach Kersey heard the call from dispatch. I uh, ran as fast as I could out there, thinking it might be a staff member. I never thought it was going to be a student. Kersey took over CPR. Assistant principal Tate Olson ran outside with an automated external defibrillator, hoping to restore Jair's heartbeat. We hooked that up and we were able to continue all those life-saving efforts and, and uh, really do as much as we possibly could um, in the fastest amount of time I've ever seen in my law enforcement career. Within minutes, and even before paramedics arrived, Jair was breathing. It just all happened so perfectly. They saved my life. I feel like they said if it was like a couple minutes later, I would have had brain damage or I would have died. So yeah, I was, I was really grateful for them. A week later, doctors gave Jair a pacemaker. He was anxious, but not about his health. And I was asking the doctors when I would be released because I really wanted to be here and graduate. He made it just in time for this world. Yeah, I do it again in the heartbeat. And the next. And seeing him walking that stage, it just will never be able to explain this great feeling. It, it's just amazing. You're going to make me cry. I know. In Wilsonville, Catherine Cook, KGW News. Well, she's making us cry, <laughs> that's for sure. You never, just took CPR training. I did, and you know, this is just a reminder, never take anything for granted, and I think advocate, and you've taken the pass that anybody who can go through certification should. It's easy online a couple hours, and then an in-person class, and you see the difference. It actually does save and lives. And Jair is proven. We're so happy that you graduated, and you're with us, Jair. We wish you all the best yeah, of luck. Congratulations to you. Let's take you outside right now.